Welcome to a, another commentary done by Davey. I'm feeling amped up because of my awesome audience right this second. So hopefully this will be an awesome game to match it. Upper left hand corner, we got DeWalt starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Bonnet starting as the teal Protoss. I just want to say something about... Uh, part of the reason I like this tournament itself is it is a testament to the map fighting spirit, but it's also kind of a testament to the spirit of the Broodwar community. And what, in my particular... Uh, opinion, a lot of the aspects of the Brood War community that I love. And part of it is the Brood War, there's something about Brood War that is about uh, constantly adapting and constantly improving and constantly enjoying, like imbibing in this thing that we all collectively, audiences and, and players and commentators and everything. And there's like something about a particular grind set of diving into a thing and then constantly moving up and moving towards better things, if that makes any sense. And there's something, and I think that's the essence of the fighting spirit, and that's the essence of this fighting spirit mania tournament. Part of it is is the endurance <laughs> along the way. But just want to say, I think the brood war community, like that's not to say that the entire brood war community isn't shiny and or is a uh, shiny and glorious and wonderful because there's definitely dark and bad aspects as well. But I gotta say, I think that the wonderful aspects of it outweigh anything negative. And the negative aspects sometimes are like a polished turd, and they're absolutely incredible in their own right sometimes as well. As is uh, exhibited by Artosis's chat on occasion when he's getting harassed on Twitch. Uh, I'm not, my metaphors are not on point today, but hopefully the, the, the feeling is conveyed. Upper right in corner, Bonneth getting uh, an initial scout out. DeWalt a little bit delayed. Looks like he's going to go for... Uh, is he going to go cross spawn? If he goes cross spawn, he'll end up the first scout. As mentioned, the previous cast where we learned a ton, in my opinion. Well, at least I learned a ton. We have Cybernetic Score and Zealot to follow, which means DeWalt is going to be able to go ahead and get that initial scouting information. In the meantime, same build opposite side from DeWalt, so I believe Bonneth going to be able to sneak in there as well. A little bit earlier here for DeWalt. Getting a little bit of harassment. Takes an initial shot to the face by that Zealot. In the meantime, the Zealot out just as that probe walks up the ramp. The Zealot losing the probe for a half second. And I'm wondering if this is going to open up an opportunity for Bonnet. So Bonnet, I think sometimes what I've noticed from his scouting pattern is, is he'll harass the probe line a little bit. And then do this. Make a movement towards the Nexus line to see if there's a good Manor Pylon opportunity. Looks like he's going to pull away. Right the second, we have range shorting on both ends. I think having that probe interior to the base doesn't exactly force this that every once in a while you will see a cancel, but usually does move, uh, kind of uh, greases the rails towards having players have more of the range first build. So we'll start hopefully seeing some variation from here. Probes returning both directions. Bonneth taking position on the low ground, as is DeWalt. DeWalt actually sending the Dragoon forward. A little bit, just to check. I think he was wondering if there was a second probe that was sent out for scouting purposes. One gate robo on this end. It looks like we, uh, we're seeing a second Dragoon queued up already for DeWalt. And I'm wondering if DeWalt is going to risk going for one gate into Nexus. He's got a probe on the low ground right this second. And actually, it looks like we... Did we see a... Range, so, range continuing for DeWalt, range canceled for Bonneth to go ahead and get that robo up and a pylon to the corner. So wants to go a little bit of press tech here. DeWalt, in fact, goes one gate into expansion. So it's going to be one gate expansion, second gateway to follow, sorry, three gate as far as a follow up. So DeWalt taking some risk here and neglecting the robotic, just presuming, and maybe because of, and that's interesting because we did see that cybernetic score cancellation. That could have been a cancellation to Citadel of Vadoon. More often than not, it's a cancellation precisely into this though, the support base. So shuttle out, a couple units on the low ground near that natural expansion. Still no additional scouting for Bonneth. Bonneth dropping a pylon here at the six o'clock location, if he likes to do for that little bit of extra scouting. I feel like this hurts him every once in a while 
where he loses a pylon at a critical moment. Additional scout moving out. I don't think he's going to be able to... Yeah, he's not going to get a lot of information out of this, but he's going to get a good look at the troop count. Actually sees the troop count and goes ahead and turns right back around. Observer out. Reaver constructing. And unfortunately for Bonneth now, I feel like this is a pretty decent situation for Dewalt. He's going to have a good amount of Dragoons to help repel this. That is, if they remain in position. Six o'clock location, that pylon is now scouted. And Dewalt actually moving across the map a little bit. We'll see how this turns out. It's going to come down to, to troop positioning. The, the informational event is certainly going to be in Bonneth's favor. Holding momentarily, just in case it was, in fact, Dark Templar. The probe continuing to scout the front. And I'm wondering if Dewalt is somewhat concerned about, uh, so he, he doesn't have information to see whether it was the natural expansion or not. He's crashing down now and actually has a little bit of an advantage, but that Reaver out is going to be able to hold the ramp. So now discovers, okay, no natural expansion. The probe actually shutting all the way up. But this Reaver, does DeWalt immediately turn around as soon as he sees the shuttle on the Reaver? No! Goes for it! And man, is able to do all sorts of damage. Takes out the shuttle, takes out the Reaver. Is going to end up losing the Dragoons. But massively puts Bonneth on the defensive as far as the follow-up. Supply count's just about even. Very daring maneuver there from DeWalt. Bonneth dropping the natural expansion in turn. The Observer trailing all the way back to check out the scenario. The Dragoon's going to make their way back. That Reaver pickoff... Alongside the shuttle was huge. Massive advantage of going robotics earlier is just having that mobility advantage. And when you lose the shuttle and the reaver like that, completely negated. Observer finds that natural expansion, second gas. And we have a quick move to five gates and a robotics behind this. So DeWalt recognizing he's got an economic advantage, looking to cap and hold it. I think after that last attack, yeah, and this is what I was talking about earlier. This pylon sometimes ends up being detrimental to Bonneth. I love it when I have these moments here. So, although it looks like another pylon built, but this is going to still lead to a supply block overall, which is uh, painful. Maybe Bonneth can add in some additional tech here and there to make it work for him. Especially painful because he was already at an economic deficit. But in the meantime, random pylon out on the map here for Dwalt. Just to... This is kind of an interesting play. Kind of at a odd position. Maybe to catch a shuttle going in opposite direction. Or also catch a ground army that was maybe moving at an odd angle. He can afford this right this second. The observer moving in. Sees the five gateways. So five gateways versus two. And an 11 worker lead. So DeWalt certainly going to be able to surge here. And this is finally a, an additional Reaver being built. Much, much later. And there is enough Dragoon coverage really to negate it. Observer getting hunted. And taken out as well. So the small advantage that Bonneth had. Uh, none of the advantages are here is I guess what I'm trying to say. We also have a open worker just making sure an additional hidden base was not yet grabbed. So Bonneth needs to... He's going to go up to five gateways, sorry, six gateways himself. He needs to get something done with these Reavers. Either needs to find a drop out in open position or needs to move with that army and really capitalize and get some great engagements. We'll see if he's able to do so. The Observer moving mid-map and pulling back around. Reaver unloading to the south. This is a great engagement point for Bonneth because it's one where... The Dragoons are a little bit scattered and have to back up quite a bit. They, You could move the shuttle back around. And I think DeWalt recognizes that's not the best engagement location. So going to go ahead and also recognizes that Bonneth has to come to him. Going to back up. That shuttle leading takes a huge barrage. So the shuttle now wiped out. The Reavers are alone and on the ground. And this is at a close reinforcement point. I think this is going to be a fast one. Reaver on slow walk. The Dragoons fanning their way out, looking to hunt that... Weaver on the ground, so both Reavers gone. A close reinforcement point for DeWalt and a supply lead. 
He just needs to gather his troops up and should be able to chase down and wipe out this army. Bit of a stand and fight here for Bonneth as well, and DeWalt on the exit of this. So it's actually an army count about even a little bit deceptive because of the di different probe count, but DeWalt just has a stronger economy right this second. Bonneth could catch up. Really, the big surge... Actually, I'm going to call this game not out of the realm of possibility for Bond to come back into, because it's 6-gate versus 6-gate right here. The saturation across two bases. DeWalt has a few too many workers for a two-base saturation. But DeWalt is still in a much better position overall. Could move up to three, or three bases, and be in a better position to utilize that than Bonneth. Bonneth is holding at 35 workers. Recognizing that he just has to have a, a troop surge, a winning battle somewhere out in the map, and maybe make something happen from that. Trying to hunt. The Observer having trouble doing so, just able to get it right there. And DeWalt going to go ahead and grab that 12 o'clock expansion in the meantime, and also stage the forward front. So he's taking the battle to Bonneth, finding some troops shuffling. This is even, I believe this is even army versus even army here. And a Reaver up. But DeWalt maybe just wanting to keep Bonneth occupied. We do have shuttle speed upgraded, by the way, behind this. One advantage to DeWalt is you have that Zealot leg speed. And those Zealots crashing on top of the Dragoons can do a massive amount of damage. But in the meantime, we got the two Reavers. I think that's going to be the yeah move-out moment here for Bonneth. Starting to make his way out. Nexus Warp again. And now we'll see if DeWalt holds this. That's game. If Bonneth can somehow win this engagement, that will be the victory condition. DeWalt's splitting his army a bit to be able to crash from both angles. Although he's sending this army... I don't like this positioning here. This army is mid-position where it can't really link up with the rest. So it's, yeah, and this might turn into a Caesar-style situation where Bonneth can attack one direction. Yeah, and reinforcements coming in as well. And crush one army one direction, and then crush one ar the other army as it comes in. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. DeWalt having to pull way far afield, and that's leaving him extremely exposed. We do have some High Templar, but and a Dark Templar, but we don't have Psystorm just yet. A little bit of energy left. DeWalt needs to buy himself a few seconds, re-engaging from the rear, and getting some better engagements right there. Are the High Templar going to be a factor here? One High Templar picked off. The second High Templar just sitting there, finally able to drop a Psy Storm. But Bonneth pressing in, and I think he's got the better engagement point. This is going to get close. Dark Templar doing all sorts of damage. The Observer finally making its way up. But the it's not in range yet. The Dark Templar is still almost able to pick off that Reaver. Some Zealots were in the natural expansion that evened up the worker count briefly, but keep in mind that 12 o'clock base is still coming up. The Reaver gone, the shuttle gonna exit, and we have, it looks like, six Dragoons, some of them heavily damaged. But Bonneth, recognizing that it was probably six gate versus six gate, gonna back up, and I feel like if he had actually committed there, he would have been able to get some additional probes and maybe equalize things a bit. He needs to turn around and attack the 12 o'clock location now. He's got another wave of Dragoons making the way out. DeWalt trying to get a Photon Cannon is natural. He does have a one cannon there at the 12 o'clock. He's got a lot of gateways up. He's building zealots so he can re, uh, rapidly defend at either location. So Probe's now making the way to the 12 o'clock. This is the small window where Bonneth might be able to win it. He's got another Reaver scooped up here. The Dragoon's not quite engaging. The zealots moving across. The Observer on DeWalt's side picked off, which is big. So those Dark Temple are not going to be a rescue. And DeWalt recognizes he dropped the ball. Bonneth just had too strong an army was able to clear it out, and he couldn't reinforce either location. Great play from Bonneth. Holy cow. And with that, he takes the game, and the set score is now even going into set five. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.